Good Saturday afternoon, everyone. This is Nate coming to you from Nate's Here and There. On today's episode, we'll be traveling to the Camden, the Battle of Camden. It's not going to be too much of a long video. There's not too much. There's a plaque there. It's it's about history. That's the reason I do the, do this video. It's all about history. I love anything to do with history nature or uh, anything like that so join us today on this episode Camden, the Battle of Camden, we got to stop off at your favorite place, our neighborhood uh, Walmart. We got to go here and get some things before we go to the Battle of Camden. I thought I'd come on here. You have got to see this. I thought I would never see this in my life. Ranch dressing, ice cream. I thought I would never see that in my life. Put in the comments below. Put in the comments below and ask, see if anybody has. Mm -hmm. It tastes like ranch. Mm -hmm. Put in the comments below. Tell me if you ever ate this before. Okay, we made it. We made it to the historic Battle of Camden, South Carolina. I apologize if I if you see me um, I'm still trying to get used to my gimbal. I bought a gimbal and I'm not used to this thing. But I'm going to show you some of the stuff around here. This is Revolutionary War Patriots. The markers commemorate the men and women achieve in American independence that Patriots believe in noble cause of liberty fought vanity to found a new nation 1775 to 1783 and this is the sign right here that says the the battle of camden And this is the plaque. The Battle of Camden near on 
near here on August the 16th, 1780, and an American army under General Gates was defeated by British forces commanded by Lord Cornwallis. Major General Baron, Baron de Cab was mortally wounded in this battle. So there's a town, there's a little community around here, it's called Barony Cab. British shoots, British troops engaged. Uh, I can't. Terraton Legion, 2030, 2030, and 71st Regiment, Volunteer of Ireland, Royal Artillery, Fight, Four Lights, Entry Companies. Hmm. I like these fences right here, the way they made these fences. It's pretty pretty busy highway. This is called Flat Rock Road. I like these fences. Walk over here. They got another plaque over here. They have walking trails. It's like a mile or so. Who was that? Camden. That's the British General Cornwallis. No. Yes, it is. And this is a map of Convenience that he must threaten Camden with British troops for temporarily depressed gates closed chose to Chose the most direct route for his advance. However doing such so took his troops through areas with little food and could be found That's the PD PD River, he took him across the PD River. Um, Lin Lynch's River. Oh, he came through Kershaw because Lynch's Creek comes through Kershaw, the town I'm from. And this is just a description of the uh, hiking trails. Road to battle, army. Like I said, they got a lot of walking trails through here. We'll go see what's on the back. Like I said, it won't be a long video. We went to we had to go to Walmart and we got cold stuff, so I apologize. Preserving the uh, Battle of Camden site. Oh, this is just saying who the donors were um, that preserved this site. And this right here is just giving a little description. Defeat, retreat, and consequences. Like I said, I apologize if you keep seeing my gimbal. I'm not used to this thing. I bought me a uh, DJ, DJI gimbal. And I'm so, this thing is, I don't know what I'm doing with it. The Americans marched south. The British moved north along the same road. Neither army of the of the others approached so like i said this is 
a Revolutionary War battle site. That's what's saying what the losses were and um, how many were killed on each side. Sorry. British and 68, 24 and wounded. This is a historic landmark, um, 1961 is when they made it a historic landmark. They have I guess Baron de Cab was mortally wounded on this spot. Like I said, they have walking trails that goes all around this place. We don't I don't have really much time to walk all of them. There's more people pulling in down there. Oh, these, if these woods could talk. Well, this thing's heavy. This gimbal's heavy. This is an entrance to the Eagle's Loop. It's a 0.2 mile self-guided trail, Lone Leaf Garden. It's located in the original five acres of track land purchased by Highbrook Hill Charter of the Daughters of the American Revolution in 1909 when Baron de Cab monument was replaced or placed. The trail has historic and natural resources. Hmm. This is it right here. This is the, like I said, this place is beautiful. Have benches over there to sit down. They actually got a um, Porta John way over there. I think I'm kind of getting you kind of getting the hang of this thing. If anybody knows how to work these things or they have one, let me know in the comments below. There's some nice benches out here. I actually would love to, there's no more places like this around. Um, where I did the, uh, let me turn the camera around. Where I did the uh, Irish Festival is a spot, uh, it's called Historic Camden. And what it is, is, um, it's the house 
during the Revolutionary War. And I would love to go. I'm going to go down there and do some. Uh, I'm going to show you all that. Where we did the Irish Festival at. I kind of got to watch where I walk. A lot of, a lot of uh, pine cones around. But, um. And there's another spot. It's up above my house. It's called uh, Hanging Rock. It's a, a Revolutionary War spot or a site. I'm going to show y'all. I was going to show y'all how beautiful this place is. It's across the road, too. They have stuff across the road. Just walking trails. And they have a little plaque set up, just like um, other places. Explaining some, you know, where where things are. Try to see if I can zoom in but i don't know how to like i said if anybody knows how to work these things let me know in the comments below i'm still new with this with this gimbal i can do i have another um tripod i use but um i thought i'll get this this thing i, I really like it because it can i can try i can do my phone and record and I can um, do, you know don't have to worry about the water instruction says that I can move out the tele it's got a telescope uh, where I can do selfies so I'll pull it out I just don't know how to turn the camera around with it yet See, I just got to get used to using this thing. I've got the, oh, I got another one. It's not quite this, um, you know, this um, compact. The one I have at the house is only like $6. I bought it at Walmart. And kind of bugs out here. But, um, That one in the house I have, I have, no, I, I like it. I'll use it for my Brian Crenshaw. That's what I use for my Brian Crenshaw page. I use it to uh, record my, when I play the bass to my videos. That's what I use. And I have a, um, I have a remote control that's Bluetooth. And this one right here is Bluetooth. It's on the stick itself. I know, I just went off on a rat rabbit trail. These bugs. Let me show y'all. Ah, this place is beautiful. That's all it takes is getting out and seeing what you can find. That's what I love to do. That's the reason I started this page. I can just get out and see what I can see. One day I would love to be like Adam the Woo or Jacob the, uh, Jacob the Carpetbagger. You know, they get to go out um, different spots around the country, which I've been around the country before because I drove a truck over the road. And I've, I've done over the road driving before. I just hadn't. I have not stopped at those spots they stop at. You know, when you're driving a truck, you can only you only go so far. You know, you know what I'm saying. You can only go places that trucks can go. I wish I could have got to go other places, but I've seen some of the stuff they've seen. I've, but like I said, I'd love for this channel to be able to take me places. You know, to to meet those guys and do videos with them one day.
And that's going to do it for this episode. We rode around, um, or I walked around, uh, historic or the Battle of Camden. So, if you like that kind of stuff, if you're into that, give us a video a like and share. If you like it, you know, please consider subscribing to the channel and give me a thumbs up on the video. It helps me out a lot. Always remember to love God, love others, and reach the world.